all right what's up guys uh it's josh back with another video today is kind of a weird video um i'm outside right now actually uh i still am on vacation uh by the way things are looking it doesn't look like i'm gonna be able to make it back uh friday which is the day before the, you'll be seeing this video yeah so i'll be posting this video saturday so you'll be seeing this video on saturday if i did in fact get it edited um but yeah one second i just gotta focus okay uh, yeah, it's a bit of a sketchy setup. I'm using my phone right now, recording outside my cabin. I'm actually at Cultus Lake, BC right now, if you guys want to look that up. It's a pretty nice place. Uh, my family has a cabin up there, so that's where I'm recording up here. Um, but yeah, so today I'm just going to be talking about um, how to get monetized fast. Pretty much talking about the different uh, ways that I got monetized the, at the speed that I did. Uh, because you guys know, I was really only grinding for like, this is my third month consistent uploading grinding, so... Um, yeah, it's, it is, it's been a pretty wild ride so far. Uh, I've been daily uploading for a really long time now. Um, and then, yeah, it's paid off, uh, getting monetized after about two months of grinding, uh, which I think is an insane rate to be growing at. We're going up about 1k subs every month. Uh, the past week we've been going up like 100 subs a day, which is insane. That's a r crazy rate. I wouldn't ever imagine that. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna be talking about my different tips for monetization, uh, how to get there, what to try to avoid. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like, uh, subscribe if you're new, and uh, yeah, turn on notifications so you don't miss out on a new video. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. All right, guys. So the first thing I'm gonna be talking about uh, is how you want to promote your channel. Uh, so for me, the way I promoted my channel, <clears throat> I have Instagram. By the way. Instagram and TikTok are very crucial to your uh, the success of your channel. So if you build or if you work on building those platforms and promoting your content through that, you'll definitely see um, an increase in audience size, stuff like that. Um, one insane mechanic that TikTok has is it has the For You page. You guys know what that is, obviously. Uh, if you don't, you've been living under a rock, most likely. Uh, but the For You page, pretty much, just a little summary. For all you people that don't know what it is, uh, it just takes up random videos that are kind of like like a YouTube recommended, but it forces you to play them. So then you actually come across the uh, content when you open up TikTok immediately. Uh, so this can lead to a lot of reviews, ton of exposure, uh, different comments saying, whoa, you're insane. So um, definitely something I would try to utilize is the For You page on TikTok, post montages like maybe... Uh, every other day like if you're posting uh, montages weekly you could just take a clip of your montage post it to TikTok get some audience get a little uh, few subscribers from that and then just direct them to your uh, YouTube say hey if they comment saying whoa you're insane you're cracked something like that just be like hey uh, feel free to check out my YouTube which is blah 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 and then um, they'll most likely subscribe if they're entertained by the content you posted so uh, make sure that your content is entertaining uh, will make people want to stick around obviously to direct them to your YouTube something I would recommend uh, avoiding would definitely be um, all forms of self-promotion on other people's pages because for a, for a small youtuber like me it gets very annoying uh, you get all these comments I'll put them on the screen like uh, do you want to support each other return the like I drop the like subscribe and 90% of the time guys it doesn't work it's ineffective if anything it's just annoying it'll make people kind of get pissed off um, but yeah it'll just make people um, and most of the time they don't even drop a like or subscribe it's just a like a copy paste comment that they just filter down the most recent Fortnite montages and commented on all of them um, and just by doing that, you may gain a subscriber or two, but realistically, that's just a number on your sub count. It's not going to be an active viewer uh, that's going to come back and watch your videos over and over again. I don't know what that was in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear that. The fuck? It's like a bunch of dogs barking. <laughs> I mean, I am outside, so. Um, but yeah, just to try to stay away from self-promotion. Again, comments on Instagram like that are really annoying. Like, return the like, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, those definitely I would recommend uh, promoting yourself through the For You page on TikTok and using a lot of hashtags on Instagram. That works a lot. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, promoting your page. So let's move on to the next topic. 
All right, guys. So if you guys didn't know already, the um, the threshold to get monetized is actually what you have to do is you have to hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube, and then also have four thousand hours of watch time in the last uh, three hundred sixty five days, uh, being a year, right? Um, so if you guys don't know what a watch hour is, imagine it like this. If you post a minute video and you get 60 views on it and all 60 people watch it all the way a minute through, that's one watch hour, right? It's, it's 60 minutes of watch time. Uh, so you have to get 4,000 of those, uh, which is pretty easy if you guys are getting like 100, 200 views on a video. Um, but something I definitely recommend is make content that will make people subscribe, like, um, turn on notifications. Uh, for your next videos because if you're posting a three minute video chances are if they have notifications turned on they're gonna watch the video all the way through and if you have someone that only watches it 20 seconds even clicks off that makes up for the person who watched it three minutes kind of makes up for the person who didn't really watch it at all um so yeah definitely i would recommend making content that's entertaining and people stick around for the full video because you need those four thousand hours uh for me i had two uh, specific videos that kind of carried um, my watch uh, hour threshold, which was my Fortnite from my POV, put it right there, and then my Fortnite uh, locker video, which is doing really well still. Um, so I just got a notification for my low battery. Um, but I've been getting those both. One was like a five minute video, the POV was like a three, four, five minute video. Uh, so the watch time was whatever. It got like 73k views though. Uh, but my Fortnite Locker Showcase video got so many watch hours. It's actually, it was crazy. In the first, like, mm, two weeks, I got, like, 6,000 watch hours or something. I think that might be my lifetime. I'm not too sure. Uh, but it, it's sitting at, like, 53K views now, which is insane. Uh, it was, like, a 20-minute video. And uh, my the average viewer retention was, like, six minutes. So that was, like, the average amount that someone watched through the video. Uh, which is crazy to think that 53,000 people, the average was six minutes. So... You know do the math that's a lot of that's a lot of hours um but yeah make make content um if you're um your main your niche i don't really want to call it niche it sounds really cliche but your niche is like fortnite montages uh, i would definitely recommend making the odd video that's like maybe up over 10 minutes so you can get uh your loyal subscribers will watch all the way through uh, you get a lot of watch hours from that so that's definitely how to get a lot of uh, your watch hours done um so yeah that's pretty much it for that tip let's move on to the uh third one all right guys so the uh third tip the third and final tip actually uh would definitely be to try to stream on youtube uh if you are able to uh maybe two three times a week maybe even once or twice is fine um but if you go through these live streams there's not really a lot of people that stream live on youtube so if you can be averaging 10 15 viewers um, on YouTube while streaming Fortnite, you'll definitely get a lot of new subscribers because you'll pop up in the recommended if someone searches Fortnite Live. Like some people on YouTube are just trying to watch some Fortnite live streams, uh, so they'll search that up. Uh, so you'll definitely be high up on the recommended. Uh, you can get a lot of subs from that. Also, like a, there's different types of Fortnite live streams that will get you lots of subscribers. I I used to do uh, reacting to Fortnite montages live, and those I'd get like 50 subscribers every live stream doing that one. Uh, so definitely something just to try out if it doesn't work for you always try to you can see if you can do something else right now i normally just do like entertaining uh creative content live streams or solos arena solos because i know that my viewers will watch regardless uh it was kind of just trying to build uh, a small audience before um when i was in the you know 500 600 subscriber range um but yeah just make sure live streams are great for your channel if you if you are like let's say you post a montage and someone watches it they'll be like hey this guy uh he's entertaining um but you know i'm not gonna always click on the notification because he's not that entertaining you know but if if you live stream and you're entertaining your viewers and you're interacting with them and you're talking to chat and and that viewer happens to be there for that live stream they'll be like hey this guy's really entertaining i'm literally the next time he posts i'm going to Oh my gosh, my camera's wobbling. I'm going to, you know, support his video regardless. Um, so yeah, that's always good. Live streaming does definitely help you build a good audience. I can't, my camera's moving a ton. I gotta try to stabilize it because I, I have it propped up on an umbrella. Um, but yeah, you just gotta try to build your audience that way. You'll definitely get a lot of subscribers through that. Um, the 
but I would definitely recommend on trying to build your watch hours threshold because that is probably by far the hardest. Uh, I went up to about a thousand subscribers in a month and the 4,000 watch hours took me about two months with the rate I was going at. So definitely focus, try to target that one. Get If you have one or two videos that blow up, you're literally chilling. You'll be at the 4,000 watch hours in no time. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I don't know if you guys enjoyed this uh, kind of new way of recording it. Um, I'm trying to edit it on my phone afterwards. So if the editing seems a bit scuffed, doesn't seem to flow like it normally does. Uh, that's obviously why uh, but yeah if you guys enjoyed the video i'm gonna quickly pose for a thumbnail because i never do that <laughs> but yeah if you guys enjoyed leave a comment down below give me some feedback i uh, drop a like subscribe and turn on uh notifications we are so close to 4k we just hit 3.9k i don't know if we'll be at 4k by the time this video goes up but i love each and every one of you guys you guys mean the world to me uh, and i'll see you guys in the video peace out boys